Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily from Emily Cromwell Designs and I design colorful and happy bookish merch for readers. This week is the week leading up to my Halloween launch. We are two days away from the launch going live. Today is Thursday. It is happening this Saturday and I'm nervous but I'm not like overwhelmed nervous if that makes sense because so far things are working out good. All the notebooks arrived. They turned out perfect. I still have not received the apparel. Uh, and the pillow and the blanket. I mean the good thing is I've used this manufacturer enough that I know I'm going to be happy with the quality. These were more so just samples so that I could take pictures of them for the website but they thankfully have like a mock-up option where you can download mock-up pictures that they provide for your um, your website so I'm just gonna have to do mock-up pictures for all the apparel and stuff and hope that's okay with people. <laughs> But I wanted to show you the notebooks that arrived and also the scrunchie arrived. So we are going to have four different notebooks for this launch. And by the time this video goes up, the launch will have already happened. It was um, Saturday, September 28th. So I don't know what's going to be left over, but there might be some left over. So if there is, one of the notebooks is the Cauldron Library Notebook. And then this one has a cute little pink interior. All the notebooks are college ruled lined pages. Fun fact. And then I obviously had to turn Bernard's pumpkin book cart into a notebook as well. And this one, what's the interior in this one? This one is purple interior. And then we have Inside Bunard's Home. And then I'm also bringing back a previously sold out notebook design from last year's Halloween launch, which was the Halloween Cat. This was the design that went so fast last year, and I was not expecting it to. So this one is um, also going to be restocked. Purple interior. Then for the scrunchie, this came in. Look how fun that is. I've been getting a lot of requests to do more like darker background scrunchies, so I made sure to do that for the Halloween launch. Today, I, I'm making today technically my Friday, even though it's Thursday, because I'm going to finish packing as many orders at, before the launch today as I possibly can, and then tomorrow and Friday I'm going to devote to, well really, tonight, and then tomorrow and Friday I'm going to devote to finishing packing up, not packing, listing and getting all the listings scheduled to go live for the launch. I have, oh, hold on, my mom is calling me. All right, sorry about that. What was I saying? I think I was talking about how I'm taking tomorrow off to schedule the listings. Yeah, so so I have a good amount of of the listings scheduled to go live. Like I have the magnetic bookmarks done, the apparel, the pillows. Uh, that might be it. <laughs> but uh, I have the rest to do. So I want to just make sure, I usually like leading up to like big launches like this when there's like a lot, a lot of products, I like to give myself at least a full day on that Friday before the launch to really just get everything together between scheduling the listings, double checking, triple checking, quadruple checking the listings to make sure that everything is scheduled to go live at the right time, that the inventory count is correct, that everything is just what it's supposed to be, and then getting my newsletter together. Because this week also, I have a little bit of extra stuff I have to do because tomorrow on the 27th is actually when I was supposed to announce and reveal the um, theme and all the products for the October edition of the Emily Cromwell Designs Box, which if you don't know is a quarterly subscription box that I run for bookish people who love bright and colorful happy designs, all with like a fun bookish theme. And um, it's a box that you can either subscribe to and you get it every quarter or you can just like do onesie twosie, get one, do like a one-time purchase type of thing. So by the time this video goes up actually, it will, actually yeah, it will have already been revealed so I can share that with you guys. So I think what I'll do is right before we get into doing what we need to do for the day, I'll do a little talking segment to show you all the stuff that's going to be in there, but because the 27th falls the day before my Halloween launch, I'm like, I think I'd rather devote this whole week to building up to the Halloween launch. And then what I ended up doing is I 
um, announced that I'm moving the reveal date from Friday to Sunday so that I can just get through the Halloween launch, focus on that, and then Sunday I'm going to be revealing the October edition of the Emily Cromwell Designs box. So, you know what? I might as well just tell you now. So after I tell you we're going to get into packing orders, I don't have like a huge amount today, but I have a good amount. Does that make sense? Hopefully we'll go with it. But so for the October edition of the Emily Cromwell Designs box, I'm so excited to share this with you guys, is the theme is Cozy Forest Fables. I love to include you guys when I design this box. And on my Instagram, always after I ship the current box that I'm doing, I do a bunch of like Instagram story polls where you can vote on the theme that you want as well as um, some of the products that you want in the box. So for this box, I'm just going to put it up on the screen. The first thing we have is every box comes with a notepad, a bookmark, which is laminated, as well as sticky notes. So you can see those products right there. I hope you like them. And then what I also do is about two to four additional products. And so for the products for this box, we have another book sleeve, which is the Cozy Forest Book Club design down in the bottom right. I know how much you guys loved having a book sleeve in the July box and so so many of you voted for bringing back another book sleeve in this box so that we are going to have another book sleeve in this box. The size of the book sleeve is a small due to the size of the box itself. I physically cannot fit a bigger book sleeve in there. I know I had some requests like can it be a medium one but I it literally cannot fit like the small just barely fits like fully fills up the box so I physically cannot fit a bigger book sleeve in there but I mean the small is great for like storing smaller paperback books your some e-readers depending on which e-reader you have and the size of the book sleeve which is six by eight inches and then it's great for like storing like your bookmarks your stickers really whatever you want to put in there and then um, another product that we are going to have is a scrunchie this design, I'm really, really, really excited about this scrunchie design. My seamstress sent me a preview and it's looking so, so cool and just really cool forest vibes. And then for the final product in the box, we are going to have a mini journal. So this is kind of like the manufacturer calls it like a pocket size journal and it comes with lined pages and it's like, I think it's stapled on the side. And I always say like this size journal is great for like carrying around with you either in your purse, jotting down notes, or like bringing around with you when you're reading and like jotting down like book reviews, favorite quotes, like fun stuff like that. So these are all the designs for the October edition of the Emily Cromwell Designs box. The box is going to be available for pre-order up through October 9th. However, they are only available while quantities last. So last time for the July box, the box actually sold out several days prior to the cutoff date. So I'll just say that if you're looking at it and you think you want it, I would definitely probably suggest going to get it now or very, very soon if you want it because there's a limited number of quantities of the boxes that are available. But that is available now and I will put the link to that in my description box so you guys can just go directly there if you want to take a look at it. But okay, so we are back. Hello. I am um, going to print out some magnetic bookmark sheets that we have to get made and then we're just going to jump on over into starting to pack up some orders. <laughs>
All right, so I am just about ready to get going with packing orders, but I want to say before I start doing that is, I know this is wild to say because I haven't even had my Halloween launch yet when I'm filming this, but I am currently in the process of drawing for my holiday launch, like winter, Christmas, all that stuff, which is it's wild to say that we're already getting back to that point. I'm like, we've already been through a whole year? I'm like, what? Wild. Two things I want to say with that. First is if you have any certain like products that you would like to see for the holiday launch, please let me know in the comments. I have pretty much all the designs. Well, no, I, I do. I have all the designs sketched out that I'm going to do. But if you have any like products that you're interested in, let me know. And like if you see someone comment a product and you like it, maybe like click the thumbs up on that comment so I can like see how many people like certain ideas so I know what to focus on. That would be immensely helpful for me with planning this launch so thank you in advance. And then the second thing is I want to attempt to do vlogmas again. Now I don't know if you remember from the people that were here last year I'm not able to do 24 days of vlogmas. I just I can't do that. I attempted to do a 12 days of vlogmas last year where I spaced like 12 days of videos out over the whole month of December leading up to Christmas. I ended up only being able to pull off eight, but still I was quite proud of myself for that. So I'm going to attempt to do 12 days of Vlogmas again where it's spaced out throughout all of December. However, what I wanted to ask you is I know Vlogmas, usually people try to do like they vlog like in December and then they quickly edit it to post it. I realistically cannot do that because of December being my busy season. I unfortunately don't just have time to vlog all day and then edit for hours and then post the next day. I just, I realistically I can't do that with like keeping up with packing orders. So I want to do what I did last year where I pre-film some videos and then I also film some videos in December to post later in December. So one, would you like me to do Vlogmas again? I know some people last year were worried about me having enough time to do it and would it stress me out? It wouldn't stress me out if I start planning it early, which is now. So I'm actually very excited about doing it. So if you um, would like me to do Vlogmas again, let me know in the comments. If there's like certain types of videos you wanna see, let me know. Vlogmas videos, most likely, they won't all be like, like hour-long videos like these are because there's going to be so many of them. Probably some of them will be, but not all of them. But I'm thinking I could do, as I've been wanting to do, a q and A. I'm thinking maybe I should do another Q&A for Vlogmas, like order packing videos, prepping holiday launch stuff, like packing holiday orders. So if you have like stuff you'd like to see and like want to make sure that I film it during vlogmas definitely let me know so that I can make the content that you like to see because that is why I'm here I just film stuff hopefully that is able to make you happy and yeah so I want to film stuff that you guys are looking forward to seeing not that you're just like <sighs> So let me know what you want to see and I will do my very, very, very best to make it happen.
Okay, so this next order, um, this customer asked if I could pack this on video. So this order is for Elizabeth and she ordered, let's see, she got my weekend is all booked book sleeve and I'm officially now sold out of these. So thank you guys so much. I am all sold out of all the fall book sleeves that I did. So I will be having another fall slash Halloween book sleeve launch very, very soon. Stay tuned for that information. And then she also got the late night book review journal, which this is for anyone that likes to write down and keep track of their book reviews in a journal format. Then she got two of the Just Give Me a Dog in a Good Book magnetic bookmarks. And then she also got the Emily Cromwell Designs box. However, that doesn't ship till the end of October. So I'm just going to pack up the stuff that is shipping out in this shipment. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. I hope you love everything. So most of the orders that I have to do today are actually bookmark orders. So I am, let me get down here. I am getting set up in the bookmark corner and we're gonna get all the bookmarks pulled. this question is for all my fellow readers out there is do you ever like start like a physical paperback or hardcover book that you're just obsessed with and you love it and then like the whole day you're just like thinking about the book and you're like I just wish I was reading this book right now I am currently having that like the past few days I recently started the new book that came out called um, the games gods play by Abigail Owens it is phenomenal I think there is an audiobook out for it but my thing is if I start a book that's like a physical copy I don't like to also then switch over to the audiobook because I already have like the voices for the characters in my head that I hear when I read the book and then I get nervous to start an audiobook and if the voices don't match how I picture them I'm like I just can't do it so I've been like taking every possible free second I have to read this book like during breakfast if I go in the car somewhere and I'm waiting like, I'm, I'm reading every single chance that I get. It is so good. It's like Percy Jackson meets Hunger Games with, like, sprinkles and a dash of romance in there. And it's just a really cool concept. And if you haven't heard of it or you haven't read it and you are someone that loves, like, 
fantasy books with like Greek mythology being like the main part of it, I think you would really love it. The vibe of it, like the Hunger Games vibe, which is like one of my all time favorite series is what's keeping me going, but it is so cool. So one, if you haven't read it, I recommend you read it. And two, all I can think about is that book right now. I'm just like, So I have about three more stacks of orders to get through. Oh, you can't see me, here we go. Um, and we're really making good progress. So a lot of the orders are mostly just bookmarks and then I need to get a few more products from the inventory wall, but we're making good progress, so go us. All right, guys, these two stacks are all we have left to do. Can we do it? I hope so. <laughs>
So I have a couple different orders that were placed by YouTube subscribers here. Thank you guys. And I wanted to pack them on video. So this first one is from Kara. And she says that, I love your cat drawings. My parents and I adopt strays and have 20 cats as of right now. Can I just say, I love that as someone who grew up with, um, my parents were divorced, but my dad and my stepmom, they had like around 20 to like 27 cats at a time. So I'm used to like being in a household with a lot of cats. So I love that so much. Um, uh, majority are mama kitties and their babies and have been kicked out of their homes and left so we are a big cat family I love that I am too and she was hoping I could pack order on my YouTube channel and I would be happy to so let's get that order packed up for Kara I love that every single item in this order is just cat related so you and I we could be best friends I'm a, I'm a cat lady too Okay, this next order is from Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Uh, she said, can I pack her order on one of my weekly vlogs? I think my son would get a kick out of it. He loves your bookmarks too, and we both love to color. Well, I'm so happy you both love my bookmarks, so I would be very happy to pack your order on video, and thank you very much for your order. One more left to go. This order is from Pamela and she says, I absolutely love your channel. Having your videos on while I market prep for my own small business always makes me more productive. I'm happy I'm able to help with that. Thank you for all the cheer and color you bring to the world. If you're able to pack my order on video, awesome. But if not, totally fine. And Pamela, I would be happy to pack your order on video. So let's see what you got. I have all the orders packed for today. So that is all the orders I'm gonna be packing until next week. So I got everything done that I wanted to today. Tomorrow I'm really gonna devote to getting listings together, newsletter ready. Cause like I said, I have to get all the promo together for both the Halloween launch, which is going live on Saturday, as well as for the October edition of the Emily Cromwell's and Science Box. So I have a lot to do. So I'm gonna get the labels bought for these, and then, honestly, I'm probably gonna spend the rest of my night um, binge watching my new comfort show while I continue like scheduling listings. Have any of you ever watched Million Dollar Listing New York? Like that has become 
my new comfort show. I had seen, what was it, on Netflix recently, what was it, is it Owning Manhattan? Buying Manhattan? I think it's Owning Manhattan with Ryan Sir, Ryan Sir Hant. Sir Han? Sir Hant. That was the first time I had like seen or became aware of him as like a realtor and I love reality TV realtor shows. Like I just love that combo. And I was like, this is really entertaining. And I like looked up who he was because I'd never heard of him before. And then what I'd done is I went to Google and I'm like, what are shows like this show? Because I finished it and I wanted to watch others. And Million Dollar Listing New York came up and that he was in that. And I'm like, I've never heard of this. And I'm like, it's on Bravo too. And I know they're not doing it anymore, but I started it. I'm already on the fourth season. It is so good. I, it is literally my new comfort show. I've been binge watching it any chance I get. So I'm curious if anyone has watched that. Have you also watched Million Dollar Listing? Is it LA? I think. I haven't watched that one yet, but I'm curious if it's also entertaining like this. I can assume it is, so I'm going to probably start that after this. And then speaking of watching things I have never watched before, I feel like some of you are probably going to be like, what? Don't yell at me. So Chris and I, we have a new pact that every weekend we are going to watch one movie of a series that, or a franchise I should say, that neither him and I have ever seen before. I know this is going to be a shock, but he and I have never seen Star Wars. Like, none. Okay? And I was on TikTok one day, and this video came up of showing, like, Anakin and Padme. And I'm like, hold the phone! There is romance in Star Wars? I'm like, that sealed the deal. I went over to Chris. I'm like, honey, will you watch Star Wars with me? He's like, you mean all of them? I'm like, I mean all of them. So he and I, uh, we are starting over. What are we going? We're going in release order. Because I like, I did all my research. I did Google search. I'm like, what is the best way for someone brand new to Star Wars to like start from the beginning? There's release order or there's chronological order. I wanted to go in release order to experience what everyone else experienced. So that's the order we're going in. And then, then I found out that Disney Plus has like shows on it. They have extra movies. I'm like, so we're having fun. We've only watched the first movie so far, but it was really entertaining. And um, I love Chewie. He kind of reminds me of Toby, like the hair and like the fun noises. <laughs> it was fun. And I love R2-D2, like beep, boop, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to stop babbling. I'm going to get these labels bought, and I will see you guys tomorrow, and we're going to get things ready for the launch. Good morning guys! Can I just say, I am feeling a lot less stressed going into today than I originally felt yesterday because I stayed up very late, very 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 late last night getting all the listings scheduled to go live. I officially have everything listed, ready to go, everything is scheduled, literally everything is up. So a little bit later on today I'm just going to go through and like double check that I put in the right inventory counts, that everything is scheduled for the same time, that it's all in the right collection and organized correctly on the back end, but that's done. So that is like a huge relief off my shoulders. So today what I need to do is I need to get a newsletter designed and scheduled to go live tomorrow when the launch goes live at 11. I also need to do a second newsletter to go live on Sunday to go out to people when the 
uh, October edition of the Emily Cromwell Designs box is available. And then what else do I need to do? I also... Oh, I need to get all the, like, um, images for social media ready to go. So for Instagram, Instagram stories, the images for the newsletter, I need to get all that ready to go. But besides that, I'm ready. So that's exciting. Uh, the apparel and the blanket and the pillow arrived last night. However, I just feel like I'd really be, like, pushing myself to, like get like the photo backdrop set up today, take the pictures, edit them, get it all ready for the site by tomorrow. I'm like, that's just, it's a really quick turnaround for that. So I have the mock-ups for those. So I'm still gonna be putting the, um, I'm just gonna be using the mock-ups on the website for the apparel and the blanket and the pillow, but I at least have them here so I can make sure they look good. So that's good. But today, um, today's also kind of like a half kind of like a chill day, like calm before the, not storm, because it's not a storm when I have launches, but like excitement maybe, calm before the excitement. So I'm going to be going on an errand with my mom, coming back here, starting to work on some like newsletter prep work, and then I'm thinking possibly this evening if my day pans out the way I want it to, which sometimes it doesn't, but I'm hoping it does. I want to head to Barnes and Noble tonight or this afternoon or midday, whenever we go, and um, look for some new books. Like, I've heard this saying before and it is 100% true. Tell me if you're the same, that buying books and reading those books is a totally, totally separate hobby. Because it's like, I can't tell you how many books I have sitting here waiting for me to read them, but it's like there's nothing that beats that joy of going to a bookstore and like you have all these fictional stories just waiting to be discovered and read. And you're like, which one do I choose? It's the best feeling. So I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble later. I'm also wanting to head over to the pumpkin patch because I want to get um, well, a lot of pumpkins, I should say, because I like to put pumpkins along the like front area of our house, like a bunch of them. And then I need to get some bigger pumpkins for the porch and then also a bigger pumpkin because I'm going to be entering my town's jack-o'-lantern festival again this year. I won it last year, can I just say? <laughs> I still have my trophy downstairs from last year but um yeah so that's what today is gonna look like and I'm always like terrible at like filming in public um I either forget to do it because I'm so like immersed with what I'm doing or I get like socially awkward and shy and I'm like don't look at me filming so I'm gonna try to uh film some clips um if I had to Barnes and Noble in the pumpkin patch later as we go along. But I am off to do an errand and then when I get back we can work on getting some newsletter stuff together. So I am currently trying to get the newsletter set up for tomorrow to just be like, hey, the launch is live and all that fun stuff. So I'm getting that set up right now. Like I said, I'm really doing pretty good because I am got a lot done last night, a lot more than I thought I was going to get done. Um, so I, what is this? I'm trying to, 
my eyes. Let's do that first. Um, I'm getting everything set up for this email and then I'm going to be stopping to head out to Barnes and Noble and then where else was I going to go? I was going to go somewhere else, wasn't I? Didn't I say, oh, the pumpkin patch. How, how could I forget about the pumpkin patch? Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, I'm going to get this done and then tonight I'm going to work on getting a second email newsletter together to go out Sunday announcing the box and... Actually, I think I did pretty good where I got a lot of the stuff done for that already for like promo on social media. So I just have to transfer all the files from my computer to my phone to post on social media. And uh, yeah, we are making progress. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I apologize for the lighting being awful here. I'm in my little reading corner here. I actually ended up getting the newsletter for even the subscription box done. I had gone downstairs. I thought my mom was home because that's who I'm going to the bookstore with and she's not even here. She's not home yet. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I have more time. So I just got that done. I'm very excited. So I don't think I have to do anything else tonight. Well, I have to write my like launches live posts for social media. But besides that, I think that's it. So I feel like I'm happy because I feel like much more prepared for this launch than I did with the fall launch. Even though the apparel was late to arrive, it still kind of ended up working out pretty good. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling positive. So um, I'm probably gonna go back to reading my book that I was reading this morning until she gets home. And um, then we're gonna head out. All right, we are en route to Barnes & Noble. I <laughs> Mom's laughing at me. I brought a book to the bookstore, but we're gonna um, pick up takeout dinner on the way home. So I'm like, I'll just read this while I'm waiting for her to get it. I read an article recently because I'm like, how can I fit in more time to read during the day as a busy person? Because like I listen to my audiobooks while I'm working, but I'm like, how can I fit in my physical books? So one of the tips was bring your book everywhere you go. So that is what I've been doing the past week. It's actually making a pretty big difference. I'm getting a good way through this. So I have a couple books in mind. Um, I think mom's looking for a few books. <laughs> And it's Friday night and we're gonna spend it at the bookstore. Hello guys. So you're probably wondering, why are we on my living room floor? There's a good reason for that. When I came out of Barnes & Noble, Chris had called me and I totally forgot to film after being in Barnes & Noble to show you what I got. So I wanted to show you my Barnes & Noble haul, but then I also wanted to show you, well actually bring you along with me while I unbox the, hi Toby. I don't know if he's gonna come over, come here. Come here. He's like, no, I'm camera shy. All right, anyways, um, we're gonna unbox the Halloween launch apparel that finally arrived. Well, we are, what is this, less than 12 hours down to the launch. And then I got two big boxes of even more new book sleeves in. So we're just gonna unbox everything. But first, I'm gonna show you what I got. And yes, I have a Barnes & Noble, but Yes, I have a Barnes & Noble bag because I am a premium member. That was single-handedly the best decision I ever made in my life was becoming a premium member, can I just say. Okay, anywho. Um, I only ended up getting myself two books. There's another book I had been looking for. I literally searched all over the store and I couldn't find it. So I'm like, but you know what? It gives me an excuse to go back and I will never turn down a trip to Barnes & Noble. So. It's fine by me, but I ended up getting two books. So the first book that I got, I'm obsessed with this cover. I just, I think it is stunning, is I got The North Wind by Alexandria Warwick. Look how pretty that is. Oh, let's see, there we go. Look how pretty. This one is, it says it's a story that is inspired by Beauty and the Beast and the myth of Hades and Persephone lush and enchanting enemies to lovers fantasy romance and it is a lush and enchanting enemies to lovers fantasy romance so so that is right up my alley so i was like yes that is a need and then the other book that i got i had been seeing this one actually like tons of places online and i was like okay i'm just gonna get it so this one is how does it feel by janine o'reilly it's this one this one is the Infatuated Fae series, and you know I love a good Fae book. 
And this one is a forbidden obsession, unyielding family allegiance, and three deadly challenges. Any book that can give me like Hunger Games vibes with like challenges, I'm all in. Like I just love that. So these are the two books that I got. And then I also got a book for um, my mom's birthday, which is coming up in November. She is funny. She and I are total opposites when it comes to like our interest in books. I'm like, I love like dark or edgy or really like angsty, like makes you frustrated type of books, which are like fantasy, enemies to lovers, like books that make me like feel and like get me really immersed in the story is what I go for. Like I love it if the two main love interests are just total enemies at the beginning because it just, I love like that you have to like do like the slow burn of like building up to them like finally breaking down those barriers but my mom on the other hand she um she loves like the insta love like the really really sweet romance books and i just cannot do those <laughs> i just i have a hard time with those but um i have been seeing this series all over online and i was walking through the bookstore and i found one of them i was like so i had to get it the Cinnamon Bun Bookstore. How adorable is this? I mean, here we go. Look how cute. The series, oh, what was the series called? It was a really cute name. I think it's Dream Harbor series. But like, they have like the Pumpkin Spice Cafe, the Christmas Tree Farm. It's adorable. So I got that for her for her birthday. But okay, that was the Little Barnes and Noble Hall. Do I have scissors? Yes, I do. So we are going to hurt my ankle earlier um so we're just gonna do the best we can but i have this box here of the apparel so let's get this old up okay. better late than never right <laughs> all right let's see what we got here pretty all right so this is the Jack Lantern book stack t-shirt. All right, so that is also available on a pink sweatshirt. I feel like maybe I wanna wear this to the pumpkin patch tomorrow. That's the other thing. I didn't end up going to the pumpkin patch today, but um, I am gonna go tomorrow to get me some pumpkins. So, it's about. Ooh, fun. We have the Cauldron Library as a t-shirt. And every design that I did for Carol, I got it as a shirt and then also as a sweatshirt. So you can pick and choose depending on what you like best. So that's the sweatshirt. All right, next up we have the Haunted Bookshop t-shirt. Here we go. We have that as a sweatshirt as well. <laughs> All I'm saying is I'm really happy that these turned out good because the launch is tomorrow and I already have the listings, like the mock-ups ready to go on the site. So I'm like, it'd be really bad if these came in and they were not good because I'd have to take them all down. So the universe is working in my favor. So thank you. <laughs> All right, and this next one is read more, oh, upside down. Read more books with the Cauldron Ghosts. And then, um, big surprise, this is also available as a sweatshirt. Get this unboxed, yay. Da, da, da. I literally, oh my gosh, I have a pile going of apparel. What is that, oh, okay. And then one more shirt and sweatshirt combo is we have the spooky bookworm design with our beloved Bunard. Let me get the sweatshirt. Look. Oh my gosh, I literally, I just have this huge stack of apparel. This is literally just gonna be my wardrobe for the rest of October, so here we go. <laughs> All right, and then two more things in this box are, we have the pillowcase, oh, that turned out pretty. Pretty, 
oh that's pretty all right so this is the pillowcase and um, like any of my other pillows in my shop you can either get this as both the pillow and the case or you can just get the pillowcase like this if you have a pillow at home and then for the big kahuna we have are we ready if i'm sitting on the floor i'm really not going to be able to show this the best but we have the blanket and that is not either let me get it here i don't know how i'm going to do this i'm on the floor but it's the cauldron library <laughs> so here's the top i'm just going to do my best here So, oh, I have fluff on my nose. All right, so that is all the Halloween launch apparel, the pillow and the blanket. So by the time you see this video, the Halloween launch has already happened. So everything is available in my shop. So go, go, go. And I am just going to unbox the, um, the book sleeves that came in. So I don't know which designs are which, so we shall. Okay, so the first design is a design I did last year. I don't think I turned it into a book sleeve though last year. I think I waited too long to do it, but I wanted to do it this year. I have the Halloween cat design. This is going to be available as a book sleeve and it has an orange interior for spooky season. And then the other design that we have is the cauldron library oh that turned out cool that turned out so cute isn't that fun all right so i'm actually probably not uh, i'll open this box but i think it's the same thing it's just probably there were so many book sleeves they had to ship into uh shipments let me see really quick hold on Yeah, so that box design is just more of those two book sleeves that I showed you. So I am going to work on getting a fall slash Halloween book sleeve launch together. I'm going to figure out the date tonight, and then I'll tell you guys tomorrow when we're waiting for the Halloween launch what the date's going to be. Because I know what day of the week I want to do it. I just don't know what the date is, so I don't want to tell you the wrong date. But it's going to be very soon after this video goes up, when if you guys see it on the day it goes up. So, um, stay tuned. I will tell you guys tomorrow. So, that is all we're going to be able to do today. I need to go write my posts for social media, get those scheduled to go live, and then that's it. And then the Halloween launch goes live tomorrow, 11 a.m., and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the morning of the Halloween launch. I am sporting the Jack Lantern Bookstack sweatshirt today. <sighs> I'm excited. We are slightly less than 30 minutes away from when the launch goes live. I wanted to get down here a bit early. I actually am thinking I want to get some pictures of the new book sleeves so that I can get those pictures today while I'm down here. And then um, I figured out when I'm going to have the book sleeve launch. So that launch, which is going to be, I think it's, it's going to be six different fall and Halloween prints on book sleeves. Okay, so last, actually, yeah, I'm thinking, because last time I did the launch for the five book sleeves for the fall, I was like, oh, this is my biggest fall book sleeve launch I've ever done, and now we're going to top it, because I've never done six fall and Halloween seasonal prints at a time. So we're going to have six different ones, and I want to get those photographed today, because after this launch goes live, um, I want to just... I made a pact with myself. I was like, you have worked so hard through weekends, through long, long days, for weeks. I'm like, you are taking, at least today on Saturday, you are not working. Like, I'm like, Emily, do the launch, get the photos done, but once that's done, spend the rest of the day just 
doing nothing work related. So I'm going to save the pictures to edit tomorrow on Sunday as long as as well as editing this video. I'm going to spend the day going to the pumpkin patch. I'm going to probably go get some food somewhere. I'm going to spend hours reading the book that I've been reading. I'm going to decorate around the house for fall and Halloween. And I'm just gonna have a chill, relaxing day. So I'm looking forward to it, but first I need to get through this launch. I have my typical launch day nerves because I just get nervous wanting to make sure that everything goes right on the tech side of things, that like everything goes live at the time it's supposed to, that all the links that I post are working, that all the scheduled social media posts that I have ready to go actually get posted when they're supposed to. So once I get through that first initial like one to two minutes after 11 and I check that everything did what it's supposed to do, then I can take a breath and breathe. So I truthfully to be honest i cannot believe that we're actually here on launch day with how difficult it's been this past week with just me being like really anxious i did not think i could pull it off so i just want to take a minute to applaud myself <laughs> because i did not i really didn't think i could pull this off and i'm really just i'm proud of little emily for powering through and getting it done so i don't know whether to try taking pictures of the book sleeves now or not i have 25 minutes because I mean I have to set up the soft box lights. I need to get all the prints out Maybe I'll try I'll try and we will Hope I can get it done like really really fast <laughs> Also real quick. I last night when I opened one of the new book sleeve boxes I didn't like open it all the way and I just did and I saw that my one of my seamstresses She sent the one that's doing the scrunchies for the October edition of the Emily Cromwell designs box She sent a few scrunchies so I could see how they looked guys these, oh, Look how fun that came out does that not give you like cozy forest vibes for the fall time? Oh my gosh, I love it! So this is the scrunchie that you're gonna get in the October box of the Emily Cromwell Designs box. So yeah, so okay, I'm gonna try to get some pictures taken really fast. Hold on. All right, somehow I was able to get all the pictures done <laughs> and we have five minutes to spare. My nerves are nerving, um, but I have my live view that I can see set up on my iPad that I'm watching. Well, I guess you can't see it, but my iPad is right here that I'm watching. And then I have everything on the site. Everything's ready to go. My mom is texting me good luck and I need to make sure everything's going live at the right time. Um, the only thing I didn't get done for the book sleeves is I like to do like videos of putting books, not book sleeves, not book sleeves into the book sleeves, of putting books into the book sleeves just to kind of like show what they're used for. So I'm not just doing a video and it's like, you know, cause it's like, well, what is this? So I like to at least show it. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm getting so nervous. All right, I have to focus on this. I'm a little bit nervous. Hang tight. Two minutes to go. Oh my gosh, we have 67 people waiting. Hello, everybody. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh, 84 people waiting. Oh my nerves. Oh my gosh. Ah, less than a minute. All right, it's 11. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Did everything go live? Yes, it did. Okay, everything went live. <laughs> Yay! Does everything look good? Did my posts go up? My posts went up. We are good. Okay, everything is good to go. Everything's good on there. Hello, everybody. 
172 people. <sighs> hi, hi. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, breathe. The technical technology side of things, thank you, went good. And that's the part that I get nervous about. Thank you. So everything went good there. So we are good. All right. The first thing to go was the pumpkin library desk mat. Thank you. 184 people. I wonder if we're going to break 200. Thank you. Thank you. 193 people. Ooh, the Cauldron Library Notebook has come around and taken the first spot. Thank you. 197. Are we going to get 200? 198. Thank you. 201. Oh my gosh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. 214 people, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank, thank you, thank you. The desk mats. Both the Pumpkin Library and Colorful Fall, thank you, are the top selling items, followed by the Cauldron Library Notebook. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. 50 orders in three minutes. Thank you. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I cannot tell you how big of a sigh of relief. I am breathing right now that all that hard work has paid off and everything went correctly. Like that is, I think my biggest thing that stresses me out going into like big, big launches with 70 plus products. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is hoping the, all the technology is working in your favor that day. Cause you never know, honestly, cause I've had some launches where things just did not go the way. Um, I had hoped it would like in terms of like things working with technology. So it is such a huge sigh of relief. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When everything just goes smoothly and goes correctly and you can just breathe. <laughs> I love you guys. I know I tell you that like every video, even when I don't have launches, but I truly, truly adore you. I love you so much. Even if you're someone that isn't able to place an order, I still love you dearly because you are here on this journey with me. You choose to show up every week and hang out with me. It, this, I know I say this all the time, but this is truly like the best job in the world and I will never, ever, ever take it for granted. So thank you guys so much for being here with me. Thank you. A hundred orders in eight minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, that was a huge order. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. All right, so, so far I made the same amount in 10 minutes as I did for my fall launch a month ago. So things are going very, very well. So I'm so excited that you guys are loving the design so much. And thank you so much. Thank you. I have the best customers in the world. I love you all so much. I truly, truly love you dearly. It's 10 minutes and we have 195 active carts currently on the site. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, you know what I should do? I only checked Instagram. Thank you to make sure my scheduled posts went up. So probably check the other ones too. Okay, that went up. Good. 
Right. Ooh, I just went on um, my YouTube community page. Thank you to see um, if the scheduled post had gone up. And then while I was on there, I saw that we have reached 13.7 thousand amazing subscribers here on YouTube. So I just want to say hi and welcome to anybody that is new. I am so very to have you here. I'm so very to have you here. Can you tell I have launch brain right now? I'm so very happy to have you here in my little corner of the internet. So thank, I'm so very happy to have you here. So thank you for being here. I love hanging out with you guys every week. So the top product 15 minutes into the launch is the colorful fall desk mat. The second top product is the pumpkin library desk mat. And then the third top product is, thank you, the Cauldron Library Notebook. Thank you, thank you. Usually when launches go live, I like have a guess about what products are gonna do the best and I'm usually always wrong. This time around, I was right for the top three ones because I had a feeling these would be like the top ones. And those were actually the three products I bought the most of. So my hunch was right. I'm fine, I'm like starting to like, get a feel for like okay this is what people would gravitate towards so as you can tell I usually sit here watching <laughs> the launch for like I usually sit here for like 15 or 30 minutes but I mean like you work so hard like you spend weeks and months like just working on this launch like drawing all the designs coming up with the designs talking with manufacturers, buying products, counting the inventory, making sure everything looks good and like putting so much like time and effort into it. It's only right that you want to just sit and like watch it succeed. So I like to just sit here and take it all in and give myself that like quiet period of like a job well done before diving into the next launch. And you know what is wild? Do you know what my next launch is? The holidays, Christmas, winter. That is insane. Thank you, thank you. Like, what? How? I still feel like it's like June or something. Like, how is it my next launch gonna be the holiday launch? Thank you. I'm like, like I'm over here watching the Halloween stuff go up and I'm over here sitting thinking like, okay, I need to buy gift wrap soon and all that. I'm like, what? It's wild. <sighs> It's fun though. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to take a quick minute while I am down here just to show you guys all the new book sleeves again that are going to be launching. Launching? What in the world? That is not a word. Launching. Thank you. <laughs> launching. <laughs> Um, this Thursday, October 3rd at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So the we are going to have six different designs for this launch. And I can really say this time is my largest fall slash Halloween book sleeve launch I've ever done because I've never done six at a time. So first design that we're going to have is the Halloween cat and all my book sleeves you can either get, thank you, a large size which is ginormous. This is 9 by 11 inches. This is really great for um, like the really big hardcover books like um, the new one, The Games Gods Play the Iron Flame fourth wing books like that size fits really well in here and then the next size that I have is the medium size which is 8 by 10 just to show you kind of a actually let me do this size difference the 8 by 10 this one is good for like smaller hardcover books or just like any really paperback book goes in here and then the small size is six by eight inches and this one is good for certain e-readers depending on the size you have it's good for bookmark storage sticker storage I usually store like memory cards in here um, yeah so these are the sizes and every book sleeve design comes in the three different sizes thank you so the first one we're gonna have is the Halloween cat and then the next design is, this design is actually, you may recognize it, it is one of my best-selling sticker designs. And I was like, you know what, let's turn it into a book sleeve. So it's, at this point, my TBR is going to outlive me, which is, I think all of us readers can agree with that statement that we just buy so many books that hopefully we get to read them all <laughs> throughout our lifetime. And 
Uh, the next print is the colorful fall pattern design that so many of you guys loved from my fall launch that I wanted to turn it into some book sleeves. So these are going to be available in that book sleeve launch. And then I also have a, another fall pattern design. I don't know what I'm calling this one yet. Maybe like cozy fall vibes or cozy fall days. Cozy fall, maybe cozy fall book sleeve. I'll call it something. But we have this design. And then I am restocking the pumpkin library book sleeve design. This design right here, I had two separate launches for it last fall because the first time it completely sold out and I had done over like a hundred book sleeves. And then I did another round and I did a bunch and those also sold out. So I am bringing it back because so many of you asked if I could bring back the Pumpkin Library book sleeve. So that will be back in this launch. And then the final design that's going to be launching in this book sleeve launch is the Cauldron Library. And oh my gosh, how cool is that? I just feel like this is such like a cool Halloween print. Look at that. I love it. That is so neat. Okay, so all those six designs are going to be launching... Um, if you're watching this video, the day it goes up, tomorrow on October 3rd at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And the book sleeves, there are a limited amount of each different design, so if you're wanting one, I recommend getting on either right before 7 or right at 7 so you're ready to go and can get the book sleeve that you want because I will not be restocking any of these designs until... If I restock any, it would be fall of 2025. So just saying but um that is gonna bring us to the end of this video let's do one final check-in i have gotten 183 orders in 30 minutes thank you guys so so much from the bottom of my heart from me to you for being an incredibly kind, wonderful, wonderful group of people. I'm so thankful for your support, for supporting not just my artwork, but just for supporting me as a human being. Thank you, it means the world to me, and I love you dearly. And I'm, I'm like really excited to get back to work on Monday to start packing all your orders. So I am gonna be a very, very busy bee very, very soon, thank you. Um, packing up all your Halloween launch orders and, um, keep an eye out for sneak peeks i'm not going to show them yet but probably i'm probably going to start like mid-october showing sneak peeks into the holiday launch i'm working on getting that together at this point again which is wild to say oh yeah and then just as a reminder that the october edition of the emily cromwell designs box is currently available again that's available until october 9th but that is while supplies last because I do have a limited amount of boxes available. So, and for the July box, I did sell out several days before the cutoff date. So if you're wanting a box, that is currently on the website too. And yeah, so that is gonna be it for me. Thank you guys for hanging out with me this week. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Next week's video, we are going to be working on starting to pack up all of these amazing Halloween launch orders and I'm so very excited. I'm gonna see if I can get my mom in the studio with me to kind of help me work overtime and have two pairs of hands working at the same time to get all of your orders packed up. So thank you guys for being here, for hanging out with me every week. I appreciate you more than you can possibly know and I love you dearly. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so grateful. So I hope you guys are doing amazing. Thank you. And I hope you are reading some even more amazing books. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.